everyone, Kevin Cleary here. Sorry about the way off centered knives there. Uh, Kevin Cleary here with a first impressions video for you. I've got a couple of knives that were sent to me by a viewer named Steve. Thank you so much for sending these along. These are a couple of Graham knives. Now these are uh, from the GMT series and I'm pretty sure that means, you know, they're sort of mid textile knives where some of the work is done, you know, outside of, you know, uh, Graham, Graham's custom shop. So what we have here is a Razel GT and a Shorty Rhino. All right, so a couple of cool looking knives, very different. And I've got to say, guys, I love uh, Graham knives, okay? And I don't love them because I just think they're the greatest thing ever and, you know, that everyone should own one. I love them because he's willing to do something different and he's certainly done something highly, highly functional, all right? These knives are, you know, when you feel them in hand, as, as soon as you pick up one of these knives, you just really get the sense that you've got a tool, okay? That this is something you're ready to, to do stuff with, all right? You're gonna get ready to, to do some work. And I know Steve, who sent these along, does use and carry these. In fact, when I got this out, I had to clean a little bit of gunk off the blade. Um, <clears throat> But both of these are really, really cool, and I'm really be, really glad to be able to check these out. Let me give you a quick rundown. So the first one we've got here is the Graham GMT Razel GT. Three inch blade, 154, CPM 154, I should say. Four and a half inches is the closed length, all right? Uh, seven and three eighths overall, all right? There you go, like that. Um, we've got 4.23 ounces, so a little hefty. Uh, three and five eighths on the grip area. Now this is interesting, uh, by the way, it is on bearings, uh, but this is interesting. When you grip this knife, your finger is going to land over that pocket clip. And the pocket clip on these, you know, is an interesting option. Uh, lots of people have talked about this. It actually works quite well. When you first see it, you're kind of like, I don't know about that. Uh, certainly it's different, it's interesting, but it does make you go, uh, is this gonna work the way it's supposed to? And guess what? It absolutely does. It really works quite well. Uh, and it's very, very comfortable in hand. Now, if you try to choke up or get this, this piece poking into your fingers some weird way, uh, then it's not so comfortable, but the way it lands and the way it's designed to land is so that that doesn't happen. All right, you can choke up here. There's a bit of a choil if you wanted to, I don't know, if you needed to be a little more careful with what you were doing. And probably the cool thing about these knives is they give you that option to do this kind of work. Where, and, and for that, you're gonna hold the knife completely differently, which is kind of cool. And one of the things that makes these stand out and be a little bit interesting. Um, this is of course, titanium frame lock with stone wash finish. Um, there are a number of options of these if you, I mean, there are not a number of options of these, but if you look up the, the Graham Razel, okay, the custom comes in every imaginable design conception that you could think of. All right, let's switch over now to the Rhino. Another really cool and different design. Now what's interesting is um, Graham is really committed to this idea of being able to sort of choke up on your knife and do some work this way. And so even in the Rhino, well, it's, it's more traditional-ish, okay, a traditional tanto kind of design, it still gives you that option to kind of come up here and do this kind of thing with it and would work quite well for that. And I mean, other tanto knives do as well if they're angled steeply enough, okay. Um, really kind of cool little upswept tip here. You know, generally you'd expect to see this finished kind of like this, but that little tip makes it interesting. Certainly gives it the look of a rhino. Like this truly does <laughs> look like what I would draw if I was gonna draw a rhino's head. So certainly deserving of the name. This one of course has that nice little carbon fiber insert, which adds a little bit of a visual interest to it. And we've still got that uh, odd bent over pocket clip, which again, works very well. Over travel stop, again, stone wash finish here. Um, different, uh, different size, of course. I better run down the size. Again, CPM 154 on the blade, caged bearings, carbon fiber insert. This one is two and three quarter inches on the blade, four inch closed dimension, all right? Six and three quarters overall. And this guy weighs in at a 
fairly hefty 4.8 ounces. Uh, as I was saying, six and three quarter inches is the overall length on this and three and a quarter inches of grip area. And it actually, you know, fits in the hand pretty comfortably. In some ways, this one, even though it's smaller, uh, could be a little more comfortable than the larger three inch razor. Okay, so uh, let me give you sort of my overview here, guys. Uh, these are both really, really cool knives. Um, you know, they're not gonna be for everybody. Okay, one, they're expensive. Two, this design is just not going to suit everyone. And I've said this before, the last time I had a, a full-size razor on the channel, I actually uh, took it, I actually carried it around and as, as I would run into people that I knew that I felt comfortable with asking that I thought would entertain me a little bit or humor me a little bit, um, I would say like, hey, check this knife out and just tell me what you think. And they would look at it and be like, what is this? <laughs> right. And and it really, you know, it's it's really cool to have that kind of a, a tool. And what's really cool about it is, yes, they're different. Yes, they, you know, whether you think they're ugly or whether you think they're beautiful is kind of irrelevant. Um, but what's what's cool about them is that they they are different and they do go in a different direction. But they're highly highly functional. All right, it's it's easy to make something weird and you know, you know, counter whatever the standard way of doing something is, that, that happens pretty often, but it's, it's harder to pull that off and still make something highly useful. And that's really about being a great tool. And that is absolutely what both of these are. All right, as soon as you have them in hand, you feel like, okay, you know, it's time to work. We're ready to go out and do something. And that is pretty cool. So that's my overall impression on these knives. Both really cool. I will do a longer video. I'll do a separate review for each of them. And uh, you can, you know, so if you're really interested in one, you want a lot more information that will be forthcoming, you know, after I've spent a little bit of time, as I often said, and I just recently, uh, this will either post before or just before day before or day after the Pena video, but I'm going to say the same thing. When someone sends me a knife like this for review, I don't go and beat the crap out of it. I don't abuse it. I'm actually really, really careful. So I, I don't, call those videos a full review. It's more like a discussion because I, I'm not gonna go and, and put these through the same kind of uses and uh, you know potential abuses that I put a regular knife through for review. But I do spend enough time with them that I can kind of get comfortable and tell you what I think, okay? So there you go, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I will put a link down to DLT Trading. I don't know that they have these knives in stock, but they tend to, to have some of that higher end stuff that, um, you know, they, they have knives that fit in this genre. Okay, so let's just say that. Uh, go ahead and use that link. It does help the channel a whole lot. Uh, thanks again to Steve for sending these along. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will talk to you soon.